Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. You know, for more than a month now, people in this Brooklyn community have been wondering just when the suspected attacker would be brought to justice in this case, a case that was carried out here just below me inside this uh, subway station on Winthrop Street here in uh, Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Well, justice has finally caught up to this wanted attacker, and police arrested this person, 33-year-old um, Gravasande. Her name is Rodlin Gravasande. She was arrested, actually, in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's jump over to the video right now to tell you more about this case. The incident itself happened back on December 2nd of this, and um, police were looking for her for quite some time. On that day, December 2nd, police say Rodlin Gravasande was at Prospect Leopards Garden Station here at No Strand Avenue, Winthrop Street. For some reason, Gravasande got into a serious dispute with a 21 year old woman here. Witnesses say that she was following that young woman around and harassing her, and things drastically escalated. When police say Gravasande threw some sort of chemical substance in the face of the innocent woman she was arguing with, Gravasande then ran off and disappeared. The young victim unfortunately suffered some pretty serious burns on her face because of that acidic liquid. She had to be taken to the hospital for treatment. She survived, but, you know, she is going to have some scars now because of that. After the attack, officers increased their patrols to the subway. They put up wanted posters. Investigators haven't told us exactly what led to them to grab a Sunday, but they are confident, they say, they got the right person in custody, the person they arrested, again, in Georgia. Have a listen. She got caught in Atlanta? Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. It's just ridiculous. And this is just going on and on and on. Like, that's not the only thing. People get pushed, like, it's a, and then acid. It's just crazy. What do you get? It? You make up acid to bring out to harm somebody? The person didn't even do nothing to you. So, as you might imagine, people here quite relieved now that this person is in custody. Officers still trying to get to the bottom of just what Rodlin Gravasande's motives were for this case and what she was doing in Brooklyn at the time. She does have a lengthy criminal history, and we are waiting to get more information. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.